lot about cars. I uh, have to drive it away, that's very exciting. You can turn it. You can. This is all that's keeping you. As you can see, we definitely need a lot of help here. Because we've got people like Veronica out there. So, I'm sorry. You stop know. it. Stop it. Stop it. Um, Excuse me. Hello, everyone. I know you're probably upset to see me here because I'm crashing your, your patchouli party. But um, I just... Uh, I have to make a plea. I didn't want to come tonight. Um, it's raining, it's cold, and I thought it would smell here, which it does. <laughs> I think you all need to rethink that Tom's of Maine deodorant that you're wearing. You know, they invented chemicals for a reason. It's because they work. My navigator is in the shop. Tonight, I don't know how you all feel when your child is in the hospital, but um, it's much the same feeling. So here I am though, I had to take the subway. Someone, a, a child spoke to me on the train. I sort of, I sort of like kicked it away, but I didn't get the point. Anyway, I'm here because uh, I just got back from Los Angeles. I was with my auto lobbying organization and we were passing out Bentleys to the winners at the Golden Globes. Um, the customs in LA, it's a beautiful place. Uh, you can go an entire day without seeing a human face. You can go an entire day in your car. In fact, I had to go five miles and it took me an entire day and it was one of the best days of my life. <laughs> Here's my plea to all of you. Stop what you're doing. Stop with the bikes. Stop with the tables in the streets. Stop with Times Square. Stop with your parks on 14th Street. Just stop it all before this beautiful city turns into Amsterdam. That's my plea. Are there any questions? Veronica, Veronica, over here, Veronica. Right here, Veronica. Right here, Veronica. To the to the young man with the loafers. Thanks. <laughs> uh, ben Freed, Streets Block. Yes, Ben um, Freed. Your your nav, it hauls, right? Oh, uh, it hauls, baby. I'm just wondering, um, legally speaking, how fast can you drive it in New York City? So you asking me what's the speed limit? Pretty much. Um, I don't know, seventy. <laughs> is that what it is? I don't. It should be unlimited. It's a little. Try a little lower. What is it, 68? Yes. I, I, I've got a question. Yes. I, yes. Sarah Goodyear, also from Streets Blog. Actually, it's an invitation. I'd like to invite you to borrow one of my bicycles, uh, and we could go for a ride together. Uh, we, we could take a tour of New York City on our bikes. You, you know how to ride a bike, right? Do you know how? Um, once I was stranded at an airport and uh, someone had to pick me up on a Vespa. Is that the same thing? <laughs> yes, you actually have to move your feet. What do you think of Vegas as a something that we should aspire to? Love it. I like a place where you can lose your entire life savings uh, without even knowing it. So, that's good. I wonder if you could comment on the, the leading cause of death for children in New York City, which is, which is SARS. Traffic. Traffic. Okay. Um, it's not SARS. Uh, this last question is serving the, uh, in the fancy go How many miles per pound do you get in the city? Miles per gallon. Right, where you measure it by money, how much do you pay on repairs and, uh, and gas? My accountant handles all of that. It's about, uh, what is it, like $20,000 a month. <laughs> Which I think is reasonable. Uh, because I basically live in the car, so it's like a, it's like a penthouse. Um, all right, well, uh, I'm sure that my message has fallen on deaf ears, but I thought I would give it a try anyway. Thank you for uh, indulging me, and have a good night.